Today sees the launch of three new irons from TaylorMade from their P-Series. We've got the P770, we've got the P7MB, the P7MC. They all look unbelievably good. But what I want to know is how good do they perform in the hands of this average golfer? And there is no better place for me to do that testing. I am out in Carlsbad at TaylorMade's headquarters and this place is known as the Kingdom. It really is a custom fit facility like no other. And over there, my clubs are waiting. I'm going to hit some balls and I'll give you my opinion. For me, these three irons are very much the best looking irons that TaylorMade produce. Now we know looks don't necessarily end up in performance, so that's something we'll look at very, very shortly, but you cannot ignore from a visual perspective, these things look absolutely stunning. For me, the MB has been an iron that I've been wanting to play for a long, long time. It is, of course, a blade. It's gone slightly smaller and more compact than the uh, previous model. So you can see that they're very small, very thin in terms of the top line, and that heel to toe length is very, very short indeed. You then move up to that MC model, which is just sort of goes a little bit bigger in size. It's not an all out blade. There's a bit of tungsten that's positioned inside of those irons, which is going to help. It's also uh, that weight, that tungsten weighting very much is progressive and moves around a bit. It's very much dialed in for each iron to get you optimum numbers. And then that P770 is that sort of, uh, well, the smaller brother, sister, whatever you want to say of the P790. So again, it's a more forgiving foam filled iron uh, P790 is huge as we know, but this is just that slimmed down version. So they're the three irons. What I'm going to do today is look at these as a group of irons and then later on back in the UK we'll do these very much an in-depth look at them in terms of performance and see how they separate out and what kind of uh, data I produce. But for now it's uh, over to the driving range and let's see how these things perform. Right, so we've got pitching wedge seven iron and five iron in each of the models. And what I'm hoping to show you is from a shot tracer perspective, some visible differences in kind of ball flight and carry distance as well, which was very noticeable during the testing. Start off with a P7 MB. It's a very small and compact iron, as I've said, but it's not off-putting for me personally. I grew up playing blades, so that I don't really fear them, but I would say that a lot of golfers are gonna stare down on particularly the five iron and think, oh my God, what am I supposed to do with this thing? It is very much butter knife uh, at a dress at that longer end of the bag. Super soft in terms of its feel, in all honesty, i really surprised at just sort of how, I won't say forgiving, but if you're finding the centre of these things, then they're a very, very playable iron and they're nothing like what you would think in terms of, at least in my opinion, how difficult they are to get this thing up and out there. Absolute joy to play. I then moved into the MC. Once again, similar situation. You just almost know what's coming in that the MC just gives you a little bit more confidence for many at address because it's a little bit of extra size and bulk. That tungsten weighting comes in. For me, they lose a little bit of feel if you want to be critical compared to the MB and that's what you'd expect from going from a pure forge and then we're introducing tungsten, a slightly different concept in the MC. And uh, it's not a huge difference, but like I said, that's something where it changes. But the performance at these things is incredibly good. And go back to the previous model, it's a real sort of uh, ticks all the boxes for somebody who wants to play that blade compact iron, but with a little bit of help and assistance in there. And you then move up to the P770. This again, just becomes that little bit bigger. Um, top line and width of sole. This is the hollow body iron. It's that air uh, speed foam or air foam speed, whichever the terminology is correct there. A little bit different than what we've seen in the previous iteration. This just becomes a lot more forgiving. It's stronger lofted, as you can see, and ball flight is incredible, as is the distance carry. These things just fire out there. Right, so whilst I carry on hitting some more golf balls, trying to persuade myself that I'm good enough to play these absolutely gorgeous P7 MBs, we're gonna switch up, go out onto the golf course and get some real reaction. And I'll see how I get on with these three things out on a uh, golf course not too far away.
Right, so um, first of all, I'm gonna start things off with an MC. We've got a six iron in the MC product. Not a lot of club behind the ball, I've got to say, in terms of meat, that is. These MCs are obviously bigger and bulkier than the MB, but they still uh, require or seem to suggest you're gonna to need to put a decent strike on them to get something out of them. But again, I say decent strike was okay, a bit cutty, but you see the high ball flight, which always defies the kind of loft situation with these clubs. So good feel, decent loft from a six iron. Right, so the iron you're watching me play in now is from the P770 series. And straight away, the first thing this club does, or this iron head profile, is just give you a little bit more confidence. You're not quite looking down them MBs and MCs. And although I pulled it to the left, you can see again, another high launching ball. It was another six iron goes the kind of distance I would expect which is 175 into sort of 180 in terms of carry distance and overall pretty much what I'd expect from this uh, kind of club a bit more forgiveness than the other two and a very playable iron in that mid iron at least now dry ball data is really important when you're looking at getting custom fit for any product but also to get a club out on the golf course gives you a sort of true feel for it down the short end of the bag I've got a little sort of feel shot, if you like, at this stage. And for me, this is where the kind of size and profile of the MBs come into their own. Not just because they look nice and neat behind the ball and compact, but I like the thinner width of sole for this kind of shot. And I like the feel that resonates back in the hands. So this is where you've got to find this compromise because even for me, looking at, I've got a 9-iron in hand, and even a 9-iron from the P770s, which isn't a big profile by any means, but you compare it to this MB, it just sits so nice behind the ball. And this is the club that I want to be playing in this kind of position. I don't really want to be in this position, but do you know what? Roll on a little bit more. I'm really so pleased with that, because all I was worried about was going in the water while that camera was switched on. Well, it's drifting away, but it's a pretty nice strike. Oh, in the bunker. But this is the opposite end of the spectrum where at what we're playing 175, a bit further to the pin itself, but 175 to center of green. And I'm reaching for the P770 all day long because the last thing I want in my hand right now is that MB and possibly even the MC. Because as I've said already in this video, there's a noticeable difference in forgiveness. There's no doubt about it in the P770. Certainly there is from the MB, but even with all the help that I get out of this thing, I still couldn't find that green, but what a golf hole. This course is unreal, by the way. Well, I suppose the perfect situation to answer my question, which is, I've got a fair way to find long iron in hand, five or four iron, which of the models would I be choosing? That is, of course, the P770. I just feel so much more confident with this one. We've just about found the edge of the fairway as well, which is a good thing since we had that camera switched on. So long end of the bag, P770s all day long. Well, what a great golf hole, first of all, to demonstrate what I was trying to end with this video, and that was long iron off the tee. I've now got 120 in, and there's only one range of this clubs that I would be choosing. And that is, of course, the MBs. That's got to carry a little. Oh, it's got to carry a bit more. That's one thing you would have to make sure you get right because there is definitely a drop off in yardage from the MBs, but the feel, the sound, the compactness for this type of shot is exactly what I want. The question is, that's the short end, that's the long end. Would I actually change something in that middle and slide in those MCs? Well, it didn't need a great deal more in terms of clubbing, but it's left an horrendous up and down. That's now got to sit down or hit the flag or something. Ah, it's not too bad. So the answer to that question about those MCs, well, no. I possibly wouldn't look to slide them in in the mid iron. It's a real weird one for me because I think the MCs look superb. And if you're of the right ability, I think you'd probably play them right throughout the bag. Maybe slot in a five or four iron in the P770s if you needed. But for me, the star of the show visually is always the MBs. They just look so, so good in the bag. If I really felt that I was consistent enough, that's what I'd go with. And uh, those P770s are those happy medium. They're compact, they're small, they've got a decent amount of feel and decent sound, and then you can still play them right throughout the bag. So 
ultimately it's that one where it's uh, it's down to the individual the levels you play out what you like to see it address what you like to hear and sound so go and get custom fit my end of my review is quite simply they've produced a superb range of irons this is one of my favorite series of irons that's out there it was in the previous iteration and this is too I just wish I was just a little bit more consistent with those irons and I'd have them MBs in all day long. Right, as ever, thank you for watching. Comments down below, let me know what you think. If you had a choice, which would you choose? And uh, if you've got any of the previous models in the bag, then let me know what your own personal findings are. I better go and see if I can make that putt.